Hi, Pastor Debbie here from St. Paul United Church of Christ. Welcome to day three of 25 Days of the Christmas Story, an Advent family experience by Dr. Josh and Christy Straub, illustrated by Jane Butler. Today, we are learning about Zachariah. And Zachariah teaches us to be prayerful. And our life lesson is pray big prayers. So let's turn on our book and see what Zachariah has to do with the Christmas story. Zachariah was a priest who served in the temple and obeyed God. And for a long time, Zachariah and his wife, Elizabeth, could not have any children. But that didn't stop them from praying for a child. And Zachariah believed that he and Elizabeth would someday have a child of their own. Well, one day when Zachariah was an old man, an angel and the angel said, your prayer has been heard. And Zachariah was going to have a son. It was a miracle. And in Luke, the first chapter, verses 13 through 19, the angel tells Zachariah to name his son John and said that John would become great in the sight of the Lord. And when John grew up, he prepared the people of Jesus. Though we don't know exactly what Zechariah asked for when he prayed, this passage shows that God answered Zechariah's prayer in a much bigger way than by just giving him a baby. God used Zechariah's son to prepare the people for the coming of Jesus. And Zechariah's son, John, is who we know as John the Baptist. Our scripture is from Luke chapter 1, verse 13. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son and you will name him John. Well, as you gather together for family time, come together at a table and have paper and pens for everyone and ask each family member to draw a picture of one way they can help the world around them. You might ask questions like, what makes you sad? What uh, is heavy on your heart? And then ask everyone to write down a prayer to meet that need. Make it a big prayer, just like Zechariah prayed big prayers. Make it a big prayer that would bless others and point them to Jesus. And remind your kids that their prayers may not be answered right away. I mean, look how long it took God to answer Zechariah's prayer, as it's shown in our Christmas story. But God is bigger than all of the burdens that we bear. And sometimes when God answers prayer, it just blows us away. And at the end, tell everyone to attach their prayer to their bedroom door to remind them to pray it often. So when you discuss things with your family, talk with them about a prayer that God answered for you. And how long did it take God to answer? Let us have our prayer. Gracious and loving God, teach our family to pray big prayers, especially prayers that bless others. Amen. Bye. Tune in tomorrow for another time together.